Yes. Uh, once again, welcome all of you the lecture series of the microprocessor and the microcomputers. So today's day 35, 35th class, we are taking uh, this MPMC class. Now, uh, today we are going to discuss once again the overview, pin diagram and architecture of the 805 microcontroller, if possible, the register set of the 805 microcontroller also. You know that uh, there are some basic difference between the uh, microprocessors and microcontrollers. So very, uh, very basic difference between that. So this is the syllabus for this uh, microcontroller chapter. So need not worry. This is the outline of the microcontroller. So a microcontroller, it has a CPU. Uh, wait. Yes. So you know that uh, micro, this is the microcontroller. A microcontroller is nothing but the, it has a CPU. Okay. It has a RAM and ROM memory. It has the input ports. Okay. So uh, this is the interpretation section. By using this interpretation section, you are going to connect the input output devices at the same time you are also connect the if you want that you are also connect the memory also memory also but inbuilt this 8051 microcontroller has the memory is called the ram and rom memory inbuilt memory this is the inbuilt structure so within the chip one chip it has the cpu this has the ram and rom this has the input output ports that's why this microcontroller you can call it as a computer on a chip. Okay, computer on a chip. Okay, nothing but at a single chip, we have the all the functionalities. Nothing but it has CPU. CPU means it has the ALU, automatic and logical unit. It has the uh, nothing but timing and control unit. It has the resistors also. This CPU. So it has a RAM and ROM memory also. Okay, we have the uh, internally we have the uh, RAM memory is uh, 4 KB, ROM memory, read only memory. This random access memory is 128 bytes. 128 bytes internal memory. Okay, you have the I/O ports. You know that uh, in 8086 microprocessor or 8085 microprocessor and. Uh, you are able to connect the external devices like memory as well as input output devices. You require the in, uh, interfacing devices like 8255 PPA, then 8279 keyboard controller, DMA controller, uh, then PIC controller you will download. But this 8051 has the uh, inbuilt uh, structure of all of this uh, input output ports. Okay. Now see this. Uh, uh, what are the some applications for uh, using this uh, 8051 microcontroller? What are some applications, basic applications? Some out household applications uh, like toys, cameras, uh, something, uh, video recording devices, CD players, TVs, microwave ovens, then washing machines, then your, uh, whatever you are using, your cell phones or whatever you are using, uh, some uh, keyboards or mouses, uh, some almost on all the electronic devices, uh, we are using the uh, microcontrollers okay so then uh, like printers and scanners and uh, like some led lighting uh, led on off lighting purposes then fire alarm fire detecting equipment most of the electronic based equipments we are using the 8051 microcontrollers instead of the 8086 microprocessors the reason behind that one is the cost the cost of that uh, microcontroller the cost of that microcontroller is very, very uh, less when compared to the 8086 microprocessors. At the same time, the size issue, the size. So at a single chip, you have the uh, uh, series, uh, some features, uh, some on-chip oscillator. You know that a clock oscillator means a clock on-chip. We are not uh, supplying the clock to that uh, microprocessor, uh, not, but microcontroller from outer side. But microprocessor supply the clock from the outer side. On chip RAM and ROM, you have the memory, on chip memory. But in 8086, we supply the outside outside side. So uh, on chip input ports, but 8086, it is not there. So on chip serial port. So uh, 8086, this feature is not available. So serial ports means 8086, uh, I mean, this uh, microcontroller will uh, send the data serial net, but bitwise, 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 bitwise data. So bit to bit. 
bit to bit. If uh, first bit is uh, send the first, then after second bit, then after third bit, then after fourth bit, that's about one zero zero one for example. Not the eight bit set it again. So bit wise data is also possible. Okay, how to send the data by using data lines. Data lines. This layer data lines is connected in parallelly, parallel at the same time serial. In serial, you can send the bit wise data, bit wise. But in parallel at a time, you can send the uh, all the information. So on chip timer and control, you know the time and time and gun, gun control is nothing but a heart of the uh, any computer. Okay, it can connect at the each and every components that is exist in the uh, microcontroller or nothing but our microprocessor at the same time outer side of the uh, microprocessor or microcontroller input output devices is nothing but the memory also. So large setup, it has a large setup for special purposes. So you know that these are the special purposes, the special functions that are there. We will discuss it. Now see, this is some basic difference between microprocessors and microcontrollers. So microcontrollers are used for the big applications like in our computer. Which one we are using? A microprocessor. We are going to buy. Uh, you will see that uh, it may be a Intel, it may be a AMD uh, processor. That may be a microprocessor, not the microcontroller. Okay, so uh, so here uh, uh, microcontrollers. So these are used to execute single task within an application. But microprocessor is going to execute multiple tasks. Yes, multiple tasks at a time. But here microcontroller are used to single task within the specified applications. The best example for microcontroller, you, you know that. An Arduino board. You see that an Arduino UNO boards at the same time Raspberry Pi boards. You know that very well. So on that uh, boards, they are using still 8051 microcontrollers. Okay. So as the hardware cost is high, but the hardware cost is low. You know that what is the cost of the Arduino board nowadays? Uh, you know that a single without a without a Arduino board, so that is available in hundred rupees for that microcontroller. Even though an Arduino is available at uh, Three to four hundred in between uh, nowadays, but you know that what is the cost of that microprocessor? And above five thousand and six thousand. Based on that, you know that uh, your present days we have the Intel and uh, i three processors, i four, i five processors. That's it. The i seven processor is nearly of uh, uh, fifteen to uh, twenty thousand cost per one. Only of the microprocessor cost. But you know that. But what is the cost of this microcontroller? It has a uh, of 100 rupees it starts at the below 100 rupees so it's not not easy to replaceable but it is easy to replaceable because of the less cost at the same time microcontroller is occupies very less space when compared to the microprocessor because all the things like cpu memory io ports are available at the same chip on single chip but microprocessor it has only the cpu the remaining equipment is like memory, input, output devices, as well as uh, nothing but the uh, interrupt, uh, uh, nothing but the interface and devices. At the same time, clock, you are also giving the outer side. So that's why uh, when you are seeing these two as a size, microcontroller size is very less when compared to the microprocessor. So power consumption is also high uh, because of the more number of components you are using. Here, uh, the power consumption is less. It doesn't has RAM and ROM IO ports, but it has the CPU RAM and ROM IO ports. So microprocessor can call it as a CPU or chip, then microcontroller can call it as a computer on the chip. Now this is the microcontroller. An entire thing is available. It has the CPU, it has the clock, okay? Uh, then uh, at the same time, uh, it has the IO ports, it has the memory. Memory is nothing but RAM and ROM, random access memory and read only memory. Six. So entire things is available in this, but but in micro processors, the chip has only the CPU only. So these remaining are not available. So without connecting the clock, uh, RAM and ROM memory, micro processor is not working. But a single chip itself to uh, is uh, is used to drive any of the systems okay any of the applications so this uh, microcontrollers is divided into the based on the number of bits it may be for 8-bit microcontroller 16-bit uh, microcontrollers and 
32 bit uh, microcontroller. Okay, now we can uh, look at this uh, in our 8051 microcontroller. This is a 8 bit microcontroller. 8051, our whatever our discussion, whatever you are going to discuss, our 8051 according to our syllabus, our 8051 microcontroller is a 8 bit microcontroller. You know that what is the uh, bit size of 8086 microcontroller? It is a 16 bit microprocessor. At a time, you are going to transfer the 16 uh, bits of data from the microprocessor or not, from the microcontroller or whatever it may be. But in 8051 microcontroller, we are able to transfer only the 8 bits. Only. So, nothing but the data bus, data bus size is 8 bits. 8 bits. But in 8086 microprocessor, 8086 microprocessor, what is the data bus size? 16 bits. At a time, you are going to send the 16 bits. But here, at a time, you are going to send the rest of the information only of 8 bits. So that's why we have the 8 bits the data bus is available in the 8051 microcontroller. 16 bit data bus is available in the 8086 microcontroller. So the another microprocessor, 8096 microcontroller, is there, that number. That is, it is the 16 bit microcontroller. But according to our syllabus, we are only going to discuss the uh, an 8 bit 8051 microcontroller. So based on the memory, you know that memory. You have the external memory as well as the internal memory. So what is the external memory? How much external memory is going to connect the 8051 microcontroller? 8051 microcontroller. You know that what is the external memory of 8086 microcontroller? What is the external memory of 8086 microcontroller? It has the, there is no internal memory of the 8086 microcontroller. Microprocessor. What is the external memory on MB? But uh, this memory is two types, internal as well as external. Internal memory, internal memory, external memory. So in internal memory, you have the 4KP ROM, 128 uh, bytes RAM. What is the external memory? How much size of external memory you are going to connect? You are going to connect 2 power 16 is nothing but this 64 KB. External memory you are going to find if, if it is necessary. But here an 8086 microprocessor is there is no internal memory only of external memory. It may be a for 1 MB is nothing but the 2 power 20. You know that what is the 20 is indicates that number of address lines. Here 16. So 8086 we have the 16 address lines. Then uh, uh, Sorry, 8051, we have the 16 address line. Then 8086, we have the 20 address line. 2 power 20 is nothing but the 1 MB memory. So, according to the instruction set, you are dividing into the CISC process as well as the RISC processors. Whatever you are discussing 8051, you are, uh, uh, that is Intel developed 8051, that instruction set is followed by the RISC. It stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computers. Okay, the RISC process we are going to use. Now, these are the some family of the microprocessors we are using so this uh, they are missing it uh, maybe 4kb rom ep rom electrically erasable or electrically programmable read only memory remember ep electrically programmable read only memory you know that read only memory is not erasable but you are using this uh, ep rom so we are going to you are going to rewrite that uh, rom also so this room is 4KB, uh, we are using this one preferably. Uh, for, uh, RAM is 128 bytes RAM, you know that. These are the internal memory, remember. These are the internal memory, not the external memory. So we have the four ports are available. By using, we are going to connect four input output devices at a time. We have two timers are available today for 16-bit timers. So one USART is also available. USART means universal synchronous uh, Universal U U U S A R T U S R S is missing. Universal synchronous asynchronous receive and transmit. So nothing but uh, 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 it's nothing but uh, like in our laptops and uh, uh, we have the pen drive ports. You know the pen drive ports and uh, so you observe that one. So there are universal uh, universal ports that one, USB universal uh, ports. So the uh, or we can handle that uh, external devices. We are using the so controller like the USART is also there. So uh, see this, uh, whatever we are going to discuss our 805 microcontroller is designed by the Intel in the year 1981. So it is an 8-bit microcontroller. So it is a 40-pin 
is available dual in package. Okay, dual in package. So four GB of uh, RAM storage and auto tape bytes of, uh, uh, I mean four GB of ROM storage and four one two eight bytes of RAM storage. Okay, it consists of uh, four parallel eight bit ports. You know that the ports, four ports are available. Parallel ports, eight bit ports. These ports are programmable. You see what is the meaning of this one? We will see this because the same ports were also utilized for addressing purposes. Addressing purpose also, nothing but this type of ports you can call it as a bi-directional, 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 bi-directional. At the same time, bi-directional means you can send the information and get the same thing with the information. The same time, multiplex, multiplex, multiplex means the same lines for suppose AD, address as well as data purposes. Example. So the same lines we are using for address purpose at the same time we are using for the data purpose. Here the same lines we can use it for the ports, input or ports at the same time. AD uh, address and data lines the same ports. It has the arm chip crystal oscillator. You know that for generating the clocks to perform the micro microcontroller operations. That is of uh, having uh, nearly of uh, 12 megahertz clock. So this is the uh, 8051. Uh, so microcontroller uh, structure, uh, you know that uh, it has the uh, party pins, but it is very easy to remember. Out of party pin, uh, port zero to the uh, port uh, seven, and nothing but zero to the port zero seven, nothing but eight bits, eight bit port. Then a port one one to one one zero to the port one seven. Then uh, this is the second port. Then what is the third port? Port two zero to the port two seven. Then what is the third port? Uh, port three zero to the port three uh, seven. So uh, uh, so uh, four ports. So each port is uh, eight bits. So thirty two pins are done. So see this thirty two pins are done. These are the four ports. But these uh, out of four ports, uh, three ports uh, except this one are by direct. Uh, Multiplex lines. See this. A port zero is used for the AD zero zero to seven. Nothing but at, uh, this port is used to, used to connect the input output devices. At the same time, these are also used for the addressing as well as data purposes. So by converting this address lines to the data lines, we are using the AL address line channel. Now see this. Uh, what are the port two? Port is also used for the uh, input output devices. At the same time, it is used for the addressing lines. You, you know that for suppose that what are the addressing lines? A, AD zero to the AD seven. Nothing but we have the what is the data bus? D zero to the D seven data bus. Nothing but that's why we can call it as a eight bit microcontroller. What are the address lines? Address lines. A zero to the A seven is available in this one. See this. See this. Then what are the another group? See this. A eight to the a to the A15. So totally we have the 16 address lines. So 2 power 16 is nothing but the 64K. So 64K B size uh, input output devices are uh, 6, uh, so nothing but the memory devices we are going to connect that external memory devices in one more. External memory device. But inbuilt it has the memory of RAM and ROM. RAM and ROM. Remember. Okay. Then uh, port 3 is we have the uh, Receive, uh, receive lines, transmission lines. We are going the transmit the information, send the information for these lines, receive and transfer for serial data transmission purpose. Then uh, interrupts, interrupt zero, interrupt one. Then uh, timer zero, timer one lines. Timer zero, timer one, interrupt zero, interrupt one. Then uh, you know that write uh, operation, read operation. These are the clock. These are the clock. Very easy to remember this. Okay. Uh, what uh, so uh, you know that uh, you, you very quickly you can see this what is the you know that address that generator so here where the important thing is to this two what is EA whenever you want to access the um, external memory external program memory and perform the operations external memory what is the external memory 64 KB external memory you want to access that external memory so see this EA means here external access enable pin want to access the external memory uh, and, and we have to perform some programming on that one or execute some programming on that one. 
So we are using this, uh, we are enabling that network zero. These are the active low inputs you can call it as the, whenever any pin you have the bar on the network, these are the active low signals. Active low network, zero is on, zero is on, one is on, one is off, remember. Zero is on, one is off. Okay, then PSW, the program store enable is also active at the mud, is also zero. So, uh, for uh, read the external program memory. So, these two pins, whenever you want to uh, use external memory and uh, write some programming on that one, or you can store the, some information on that one, you must enable the EA pin as well as the PSEN pin. So, that nothing but the program uh, store enable pin. So these are the ports, port zero, port one, and port four. So these are the input output ports. Remember, these are the input output ports. So uh, so any type of input output devices of eight bit size. Remember, of eight bit size. More than that eight bit size, we are not going to connect because what is the reason for this one? What is the reason for this one? Because only these are the eight bit uh, port only. So any of the input output devices. So, which are uh, which of the eight bits uh, ports or eight bit input output device we are going to connect? But in our eight zero eight six microprocessor, so we are going to connect the sixteen bit input output devices. But in eight zero five one microcontroller, it is only possible to connect the uh, four uh, nothing but eight bit uh, input output devices only because the ports that we are given it, uh, it has the uh, eight bits only. Now port three, you know that port three is different. So not but port port zero is dedicated for the uh, uh, input output lines as well as AD zero to the seven lines. So port one is uh, dedicated for, for the input output lines at the same time A eight to the A fifteen lines. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, port one is not dedicated to the input. Port two is dedicated to the A eight to the A fifteen at the same time. Port zero is dedicated for the uh, AD uh, zero to the uh, seven lines of so input output. Port three is dedicated for the read lines, and but you know that uh, in serial data purpose we are using the read, uh, uh, nothing but receive data, transmit data. You know that uh, receive data, transmit data, and uh, interrupts, uh, interrupt control, interrupts, uh, interrupt zero, interrupt one. Then uh, timer control of zero, timer control one. Then uh, as well as the read control, then write, uh, write instruction, read instruction. You know that. Okay, then uh, XTAL1 and XTAL2 are the inputs uh, for uh, uh, connecting the uh, then, uh, crystal oscillator from there. Now, coming to the today's class, uh, architecture of the 8051 microcontroller. You know that uh, what are the uh, how many number of pins? 40 pins. So, out of that 40 pins, uh, 32 pins are for the IO ports. IO ports. See this. I O ports. See this. I O ports. That I O ports that may be of input output devices, that may be of uh, <clears throat> memory also. Whenever you are connected memory for this uh, input or an external memory, remember an external memory. We are going to connect the eight zero five microcontroller. Okay, that may be of sixty four KB. So sixty four KB means here. So we are using ports, two ports we are replacing, but port zero and port two are replacing. How many remaining ports are available whenever, for suppose, well, for suppose this is the uh, microcontroller. This is the microcontroller, for suppose. We are going to connect the memory, for suppose. How many ports are available? You have the four ports are available. Four ports are available. Okay, out of that four ports, uh, port zero, port one, then port two, then port three is available. Port zero is also uh, used for the uh, address AD, address and data lines AD zero to the uh, seven lines. Then port T is also used for the A eight to A fifteen, nothing but address lines. So sixty four KB memory. So for suppose we want to connect the sixty four KB memory, we are going to connect the uh, two uh, two ports, nothing but port zero and port two we are utilizing. Remaining two ports we are going to connect the any of the input output. Okay, so any of the input output, remember any of the input as well as the output device. It may be input device or it may be a output device. So four ports you are replacing for uh, multiple purposes. Okay, uh, so you have the uh, 
control bus is available. You have the you know the uh, serial bus. Nothing but the special uh, feature of eight zero five one microcontroller is the serial data transfer. For that serial data transfer purpose, you are using the uh, receive as well as the transmit control. So receive control as well as the transmit control. Serial data purpose means here bit by bit operation. So you know that when uh, this operation is using, for suppose you can on and off of the any of the device you are using this one serial data transfer purpose. Or nothing but and communication equipment. You are uh, one of our connecting input output devices here and communication equipment. So we are connecting the uh, we are sending the data uh, bit by bit only. You know that even though our cell phones is also use our cell phones or internet, we are also using the serial data transfer purposes. For the type of devices we are going to connect by using this eight zero five microcontroller. So on that time it is very much helpful to uh, using this uh, bus serial bus nothing but the uh, serial uh, data transfer serial data purposes. Okay, bit by bit serial data means a bit by bit operations. So first bit is sent into the bus, then after second bit, then after the third bit. So bus control. Uh, so it is uh, it has the bus control is nothing but address bus as well as the data bus is address bus as well as the data bus is. You know that by using this uh, address bus, you are able to connect any of the input output devices. This, uh, uh, at the same time, so whatever the uh, uh, internal memory is available uh, in this uh, one also. Uh, what are the internal memory available? So 4 KB of uh, uh, ROM and 128 uh, bytes of RAM memory also is accessed by that address bus. You know that data bus. So what are that uh, that information available on that? Uh, uh, I mean ROM and ROM, uh, ROM and RAM at the same time. External input output devices or external memory is also accessed by this uh, data bus. Okay. So you have the uh, oscillator is also there. Oscillator. So, uh, so we are uh, they are giving the four mega hedges to the thirty mega hedges oscillator. It is possible to uh, take in. So, but uh, according to our syllabus, uh, maybe of it, maybe of twelve mega hedges uh, clock they are using in the eight zero five one microcontroller oscillator, crystal oscillator. So now we have the CPU. You know that what is the CPU? CPU have the ALU. Uh, in the CPU we have the ALU. ALU. And then uh, uh, second one is the resistors, resistors, uh, resistors are available. Then third one is the timing and control, timing and the control. So ALU, arithmetic and logic, arithmetic and logic. Resistors. In uh, but suppose we are taking the eight zero eight six microprocessor. What are the different types of resistors? We have the special purpose resistors, general purpose resistors. Then uh, the index point resistors, the flag register, four category area of resistors are there. Each resistor size is 16 bit resistors. But this 8051 microcontroller, we have nearly of above 30 micro, 30 resistors are there. Nearly of 30 uh, uh, resistors are there. So some resistors are 8 bit resistors, some resistors are 16 bit resistors. Remember, remember. This 8051 microcontrollers has more number of resistors when compared to the 8086 microcontrollers. Some resistors as 8 bit resistors, some resistors are the 16 bit resistors. Okay, what are the different types of resistors? Some accumulator is one of the resistors, some special purpose uh, are uh, special function resistors are there. Uh, then at the same time, uh, then uh, uh, we have the some lag resistors are there. Some in that uh, special function resistor, you have a lot of uh, number of resistors are available. Okay, that may be of eight bit resistors and as well as six bit resistors. So whatever it may be, uh, you know that uh, uh, that CPU, how that uh, micro, micro, how the microprocessor CPU is working. Uh, like uh, likewise, eight zero five microcontroller CPU is also working. So whenever you want to, uh, nothing but uh, one of the operand is always the accumulator. You got 8051 uh, microcontroller also. One of the operand for writing the programming. One of the operand is always the accumulator. What is the use of the accumulator? So it is the operator. At the same time, the results is also, for, for, for suppose you perform the any operation, that results is also stored at that, uh, nothing but the accumulator. 
So one of the apprentice is that. That is the CP. So yes, we are discussing the thoroughly in the register organization of register set up for eight zero five microcontrollers. Okay, we have the interrupt controllers. This 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 purpose we are also going to use the one of the uh, set up for registers. So interrupts. So nearly uh, so in this eight zero five microcontroller we have the five interrupts. Remember, five interrupts are available. But eight zero eight six microcontroller remember only two interrupts are available. But this eight zero five one we have five interrupts are available. So remember one thing: whether you whether whether you uh, take any of the microcontroller microcontroller, it is more powerful. So that is based on the uh, purely of uh, interrupts. Interrupts. So, if any controller has the more number of interrupts, that controller or uh, that processor is the more powerful processor or uh, controller. Remember this. Then it has the R chip, nothing but an internal memory. These are the uh, four KB, four KB internal memory. This is one twelve bytes. So, one twenty eight bytes, one twenty eight bytes internal memory, RAM and ROM internal memory. What is storing in that 4 KB memory? That is stored at the uh, programming ports. Programming ports. Programming ports. Our uh, register accessing ports. Our register accessing ports are simply regarded as the ports. Ports of each and every uh, register. So the programming some operation ports. So that's purpose. We are using 4 K. So the 4 KB of uh, full of ports. So remaining 128 bytes internal memory is available. Okay, then then we have the counter operations. We have the timer zero uh, and the timer one. We have available. Okay, so this is the uh, architecture of the uh, simple architecture of the eight zero five microcontroller. In the examination also we can draw this one. So this is uh, somewhat elaborated. Uh, Then architecture. This is somewhat an elaborated architecture of the eight zero five microcontroller. As I said, these are the four ports. Remember, port one, uh, port two. We have the port three, four port, four ports. See this four ports. Four ports is there. So an oscillator is there. Now, now see this. Uh, this is the timing and control unit. Timing and control unit. This is the timing and control unit. So that that is available at the CPU. See this, CPU. You are simply all are put into the one place for our simplicity purpose. Yes, CPU. We have the PSW program status code. We have the PSW. Now they are flag registers. Program status code is now they are flag registers. You know that ALU. You know that ALU. These all are uh, at the CPU. These all are at the CPU. Uh, these all are uh, uh, at the uh, CPU. This all are available at the CPU. 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 Simply, uh, you can elaborate that. We are drawing this CPU. So register B. We have the accumulator and register B. Register B is one of the uh, general purpose register used for the operand or can store the data. So uh, then uh, temporary registers. You know, uh, you know the temporary register one, temporary register two. Then ALU. You know that what is ALU? Uh, arithmetic and logical unit. So that arithmetic and logical unit is definitely connected to the status uh, uh, program status. What are you can simply remember the flag list. You know the flags. So at the moment, what are the flags? Is for carry flag, auxiliary flag. You know the power flow flag. Uh, so the interrupt flag, like the uh, flags are there. Okay. Uh, so these are the uh, uh, RAM and ROM members. These are the RAM and ROM members. So this 4 KB. Memory. This is one twenty eight bytes. One twenty eight bytes. These are RAM addressing register. One of the type of register is RAM addressing register. Is also available. RAM address and internal. So remember. So these are also memory. These are also memory to access that or uh, to generate the or to can store the uh, addresses for that one to generate the addresses for accessing RAM and ROM memories. So for that purpose, we have the uh, RAM and ROM and uh, RAM and this uh, register is also. So this is one of the register. So this is one of the register accumulator. This P is one of the register temporary register. One. This is one of the register. This PSW one of the register. This RAM and ROM address one of the registers. 
then another one is the another one is uh, nothing but the increment uh, uh, program count the dptr uh, data uh, data point register for uh, data point register so these are some of the these are the uh, registers uh, uh, power control registers serial control is timer mode registers then the timer control registers so these are the uh, some of the registers dh1 dh2 tl so uh, serial uh, buffer registers these are the ie interterminal register interrupt uh, program uh, priority registers so these are all the registers different types of registers as i said some of the registers are 8 bit registers some of the registers are 16 bit registers. this almost all these are all the uh, 16 bit registers so this one also 16 bit register but these are the 8 bit register in the cpu available registers are 8 bit register whatever the available in the register in cpu these are all the 8 bit registers then uh, outer side registers almost all the outer side registers are the 16 bit registers this is the somewhat elaborated uh, diagram you want to you draw this one uh, you wish to draw so uh, not an issue uh, you are uh, uh, going to draw uh, this diagram also in the examinations or uh, 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 this one or uh, whatever it may be okay now see this uh, each and everything uh, what is available in that one uh, what is accumulated you know that accumulator so accumulator is nothing but one of the apparent uh, apparent uh, but any for suppose move for suppose uh, i write the move uh, uh, or add uh, uh, for suppose add ax comma bx for suppose so what is that one uh, ax is added to the bx the result is also at the same time added ax ax is the accumulator likewise here also so we can perform any of the operations here uh, accumulator we can uh, show it as a, a only because it is a 8 bit register but in 8086 microprocessor it is a 16 bit register so that way you can uh, represent it as ax X again, you can use it as AH and AL. So, 8, 8 bits, lower order 8 bits, and higher order 8 bits. IH H for higher order, L for lower order. X is the 16 bit So, simply you are using A, register. Or add A, comma B. A, comma B, simply. Add A, comma B. Here, we are using add A, comma B. So, B is one of the register to store one of the operand uh, for the multiple and uh, divide instructions. So, so then, then okay, again, uh, there is one uh, here, the topic is comes here, uh, operations. You know that we have the microprocessor like 80, uh, 85 microprocessor. That is the 8-bit microprocessor. That is only perform the addition and uh, subtraction operations. When you, whenever you want to perform the multiple and division uh, operations, there is no direct instructions are available for that. So for that one, for suppose you want to perform that uh, multiple and division operations in 8085 microprocessor. So what they uh, did is here, uh, they simply perform the operation like uh, 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 successive addition and uh, successive subtraction, uh, uh, successive subtraction. Method. Successive uh, addition method will give us the multiple operations. And for suppose, for suppose uh, 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 five into five. What will happen? 25 by 5, 5, So you can add the 5 5 times. What will happen? Gives the 25. Successive addition method. So for the dividing operation, they are using this successive subtraction, uh, subtraction operation. So divide, division method. Successive subtraction, uh, subtraction operation. But uh, but in uh, whatever our service 8086 microprocessor, we have the instructions like multiplication. MUL and DIV and advanced uh, this one. So you can directly perform the multiplication and division operations. Likewise, for 8051 microcontroller also you can directly perform the multiplication and division operations. Then program status code is also nothing but a set of flags. A set of flags. Uh, so is, is it true? These flags are uh, Enable and disable are set or reset uh, as based on the functionality of the AI. You know that the stack point, a stack point is also available in the 8051 microcontroller. A stack, a, a specified memory is used to access the stack for first in, first out buffers. Uh, so the stacks uh, for operating the stack, we are using the two types of uh, commands is nothing but push and pop operations. Okay. Then we have the data point. DPTR, you can also call it as a data pointer. So this data pointer is a 16-bit data pointer whenever you want to 
access the external uh, data, external RAM, external RAM, RAM memory. You want to access the external RAM memory. So it is the uh, 16 uh, byte. Out of that uh, 16 byte, uh, 16 bits we are dividing into the 8 8 bits. So DPH, this is the DPH higher order. This is the DPL lower order, data point lower order, data point higher order. So why, uh, when it is used to access the, so, so uh, external data RAM addresses. Okay, then uh, port latches, you, the, you know that four ports are available. So to drive that latches, you know that these are the latches, not much. So the latches, the driver is not but is used to some. It can convert from some one form to the other form. Some nothing but the input mode to the output mode, or some uh, input mode to the address mode, or address mode to the data mode, or data mode to the address mode, and all. For that purpose, we are using some latches as well as drivers. Okay. Then serial data uh, buffer. So for the special uh, operation, a uh, special instruction is nothing but SPUM serial data. Uh, uh, bus uh, or serial uh, data buffer for serial data uh, communication purposes. You want to transfer data from a serial in one by one. That uh, that purpose for, for suppose some special applications. Whenever you want to transfer the data serially, and that time you are using the SPM, the special function. Uh, this is one of the special function register. Then after the uh, timer registers. These are the 16-bit timer registers. You have the two two 16 bit registers are available. So uh, timer register zero, uh, timer register one series. In the diagram also you are observing, uh, you are observe uh, yes series, timer register uh, zero, timer register zero, and timer register one here and architecture also. Two timer registers are available, two timer registers. So this two timer register each of uh, 16 bit, again you can uh, divide into the eight, eight bits. Eight bits lower. Then uh, eight bits IO. Every why you are dividing every time nothing but uh, micro microcontroller uh, uh, accessing uh, data is uh, data versus D zero to the seven eight bits. So that's why we are dividing each time uh, eight eight bits. So uh, so uh, so uh, you know that uh, you are representing uh, th zero th zero is higher order, tl is nothing but the lower order. So Okay, so this is uh, this is also no, one of the special function register. So this SBF is also the one of the special function registers. Okay, then the same time control registers. You know that you have the different types of control registers are there. IP uh, uh, interrupt priority registers, interrupt enable registers, a timer mode register, then control registers, timer, then serial uh, serial uh, uh, registers, then uh, then power control registers. So for uh, operating the interrupts, timers and counters and serial boards. For operating or uh, to perform the operations or to uh, execute the uh, operations for uh, interrupts, uh, then for interrupts purpose, we are using the these two. Then uh, uh, for uh, timers, uh, for uh, uh, timers and counter purpose, uh, we are using these two. For uh, serial uh, purposes, uh, see this, uh, you can change the pen color, you are observing that one. For uh, serial purposes, we are using this uh, uh, serial uh, control. This this is the power controller uh, uh, using the multiple purpose. You, you see it in uh, uh, that uh, registers. These are all the some, uh, uh, registers, 16-bit registers, some, some uh, non -human timing and control unit. You know that this timing and control unit is connected to the each and every component that is present in the 8051 microcontroller. That nothing but the it is connected to the CPU, CPU of everything, nothing but ALU, registers, and uh, all. At the same time, RAM and ROM and all. And then IO ports. It is uh, that at the same time and input and output devices as well as external memory also. Okay, then oscillator. So for generating the clocks, we are using the oscillator. At the same time, you have the some instruction register. So uh, so nothing but some EP room and the programmable address register. So for accessing the internal memory of RAM and ROM, you are using the uh, this uh, uh, 
ep rom and uh, ep uh, rom and ram and resistors then al you know that arithmetic and uh, logical unit so it has two temporary resistors temporary resist one and temporary resist two so it can perform the logical operation you know that uh, addition uh, arithmetic operations is uh, nothing but the addition subtraction multiplication division and uh, logical operation and operation or operation compare operation like uh, like the operations then then uh, you know that sfr pair you know that sfr pair so different types of resistors are uh, available in the sfr you you see that the psw resistors uh, then the uh, ps uh, pco and resistor then pco and resistors uh, then we uh, then different types of resistors are available. No series. What are the uh, uh, different types of resistors? Then how the resistor uh, organization is available, or resistor set is available in series. Series. These are the different types of uh, uh, resistors available in the microprocessor. See this. A series accumulator, B is one of the resistor. Two resistors. Okay. Uh, then uh, then a special purpose resistors. These two are the special purpose. Then we have the special function resistors. They are 21 bit addressable 8 bit resistors are there so uh, accumulator three resistor psw p0 p1 p2 p3 these are from, uh, these are the ports remember these are the ports psw is the uh, you know that what is psw psw is nothing but the uh, uh, some flag resistor then a resistor b resistor then uh, ip resistor ie resistor ts computer so this some uh, sp stack pointer resistor data transfer these are the uh, data transfer these two are equal uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, this is equal this four are equal timer resistor then a mode set resistor then uh, this uh, this is separate uh, then uh, uh, serial data bus worker resistor then control resistor c this dptr resistor dptr is nothing but this one is dptr is data pointer resistors so so these are uh, 32 uh, see this 32 8 bit resistors 32 8 bit resistors see this these total are how many resistors as i said 32 resistors are for 8 bit some are the 16 bit resistors also some of the you know that uh, nothing but these 16 bit resistors are divided into the 8 bits that's why the count is 32 the number so you know that DPTR is 16 bit resistor. The timer, uh, is a, uh, timer counter resistor is a 16 bit resistor. So the 16 bit resistor is divided into the 88 bit resistors. So that's why, uh, uh, so this dividing 30 to 6 or 16 bit resistors also 8 bit resistors. So that's why this total number of resistors are 30. Okay, some of the 8 bit, 16 bit resistor you are dividing into the 8 bit. So that's why the count is 32. Remember. So these are divided into the four groups of the resistors called a resistor. What are the four groups? So let's see this. These are the uh, some uh, special forms of resistors. See this accumulator, B resistor, program status for resistor, stack, uh, stack pointer resistor. These two are data pointer resistor. This uh, these four are uh, uh, ports, input output ports. Uh, this uh, these two are used for the uh, uh, interrupt purposes. These two are uh, this. Uh, this is used for the timer mode. This is used for the counter. These two are equal. Okay. These four are for the uh, one set of resistors. Uh, these two serial uh, bus uh, maybe of equal. This is uh, some. So see this this set. These all are uh, that. Okay. This is nothing but they are assuming that port zero is also an eight bit resistor set. Okay. So. So in the next class, we are going to discuss uh, that uh, 32 uh, resistors, uh, how that, uh, what are the, uh, each set is available, PS con, PS con, and all we are discussing in the next class. Thank you, thank you for uh, joining the, this class. Okay. Uh,